first of all, I love uh, soccer, and I'm not a fan of soccer. My life is soccer, so it's a difference between uh, the fans and somebody who cares about soccer. I'm a soccer coach. An uh, opportunity for the league to help uh, the young people who have a chance to play in uh, high school sometimes because they are great, they are not good, is very important because by myself, I'm a, most of a professional soccer player, most professional soccer player, they don't finish high school or they don't go to college. They come from street directly to play professional soccer. In uh, America, we have so many good soccer players here in Seattle, but they have no chance to play on uh, high school or the college team because the, the English is their second language. So they are great in school, they are not that great. So that's where we get uh, this opportunity to play in uh, this league. The league is very, very important to help those uh, immigrants, like those who come here English as a second language, and they struggle, they are great, they are not good. So if you can put them together here, I think uh, we can uh, help US or US soccer to improve. Like uh, Klinsman, what is going for the player for? It's going for the player, some of uh, the players, they, they don't come from college. So we try to do the same thing there. My style is different because I'm looking for thinkers, people who use their mind, not just the, the robot. Most of the kids here who play soccer, they are robots. They just the coach tell them play ball, left, play right, whatever, run forward, up and down, wear another person out, and we can score. Here, uh, that's what we call a, a positioning soccer. Positioning soccer is like a British soccer. What well, they win in 1966, they used to win a World Cup, just kick a long ball and run way another person out. That's what we call positioning soccer. You play positioning soccer, you put in the air, you play somebody to run, put in there until you wear them out and you try to score. The soccer I'm trying to teach those people is a progressive soccer, like uh, the wave in the sea. The wave, you don't come one time, you, a beautiful momentum. So we try to hold the ball, beautiful momentum, and find the right time to attack. And uh, I don't coach the system, teach the people how to move, because uh, we try to use this team to find the other team, this player to go play, outside, somewhere. If uh, we build as a team that way, so we don't have no player to create, use our own plane, just tell them what to do all the time, Nobody is going to pick them up to play next level. So we want to think, we want the kids who come to play for us to use the team the way you use like a car. You drive a car to go to Vancouver. They use this team to go somewhere. It's a transit. You know? So yeah. that makes sense? Yep. Yeah. yeah. No. It's a transit. Not just the, we're going to have them here, hold them back, and put them out to play left and right, stay there to fit on a team. We try to teach them to think. So if they go somewhere to play a different style, they can adjust to that uh, style. They don't bully anybody. They play quality soccer using intelligence. When Barcelona play, you see the men thinking. When Arsenal play right now, you see the men they're thinking. Okay, these are not uh, machines. So we try to bring that type of soccer here. Any the team I'm coaching. It's a very hard team to coach because uh, I have over uh, 20 different players and 20 different personalities and 20 different nationalities. You understand? Yeah. So I'm trying to find the, the rhythm of 20 different nationalities to create 11 people who speak the same language. <laughs> no? it's a very, that's the hardest thing. I think, and uh, I never I coach in Jamaica, I coach in Ghana, I coach in Brazil, I coach a lot of areas, but this one is a tough one yeah. to put together. We practice every night. We ask people to come in to try. We try out, we still try out all the time. 
we bring new people every all the time with practice but we're going to announce some days what we're going to have after college kids they finish to play for college because right now they don't allow them they're going to finish i think november and we can allow them come to try out